What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this video is regarding a YouTuber named Daniel Amofa, better known as Etika. I believe he spell it E-T-I-K-A -E or whatever. Prior to, well, if you don't know him, he's a YouTuber, gamer-based YouTuber. Um, he had over 700 and some thousand followers before his account was deleted because he up, he uploaded suggestive material. Um, he's from, he's New York based. Um, he went missing here a few days ago and someone sent me this story like, what do you think about it? So I had to research it because I had never heard of this guy prior to this. So I uh, researched his uh, situation and I said, okay, I see what's going on. Um, his life spiraled out of control. He had he had some mental um, issues going on, and um, I watched his last video. It was rather disturbing. I watched the last video that he ever posted on his Instagram. He was walking, and he was just talking, saying he's sorry, and he was just talking about how his life pretty much uh, got out of control. He had mental issues going on. And I, I kid you not, I know this is after the fact because he's now gone. They found, you know, they found his body. But I was watching that video. If you go watch it, if you put in Etika last video on YouTube, you'll see it. I'm not going to play it here, but you can see it in his eyes that he was ready to check out. And um, you can see it in his eyes. And I went on his ex-girlfriend's uh, YouTube because I, I started doing some research on, okay, he had an ex-girlfriend, she's a YouTuber. And I went on her last video posted where people were telling her, hey, listen, he's making a video. His video is playing. Go look at it. And then she finally looked at the video. I don't think she really, she said, no, he's not going to do anything to himself. And I'm just sitting here thinking, like, how do you know this? Like, if somebody's making, if one of my friends is making a video, um saying that this is it and you know i'm gonna try to see what i can do but obviously i mean maybe he has done this before i don't know but um i can imagine what she's going through right now because you know his family and stuff because he posted the last video it was almost like that was his like um note before he um you know took his life or whatever fast forward his belongings were found um, on a bridge, and uh, I said when I found when I saw the news that his belongings were found on a bridge, I said that's it, he's done. And then they then was news came out that they found the body. I said that got to be him. And I think they just confirmed a little while ago that um they did find him find his body. My thing is, I want to say this real quick. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. If you have any friends or loved ones or anybody you care about or just anybody. If they start talking about what they're going to do to themselves, if they're going to talk about they're going to bring harm to themselves, you got to pay attention to it. You got to let someone know. You got to let someone know. I've had people in the past that I know that took their life. And um, sometimes you don't see the signs coming because people suffer in silence. So sometimes you don't see it coming. You know what I mean? So maybe his friends didn't see it coming. But after the fact i mean i'm just researching his videos he he just seemed like he was a little bit something was going on with him and then there was a video of him being arrested by the nypd he was just saying all kind of blurring out all kind of um things or whatever i knew right then that something's wrong with this guy he's suffering it's a shame that he didn't get help you know he's a young guy i believe he's 29 years old i believe he was I believe he was um, 29 years old. Um, it's just a sad situation. Um, you know, I didn't know. I, to be honest with you, I didn't know who he was until prior to this. Um, it just goes to show how big YouTube is. You, you got some people out here that got over 800,000 followers. I never even heard of them. Because, you, you know, depending on what you're into, that's what you'll find on YouTube. But his name is Etika. You can research him. Young guy, man. He, um... He just talked about how he messed his life up. And I want to say to people, it's never over. You might think that your life is not worth living. There's bugs out here. You might think that your life is not worth living. It is. You know, things can always get better if you're still around. 
You know, things can always get better. It might seem like in the moment that the world is crashing down on you, but you can always get help. The problem is, though, um, when people are going through it, you know, because I've been there. I've been through a, a situation where I just felt down and out. I didn't feel like I was going to, you know, take myself, but I felt like I was down and out. But eventually, over time, it got better. You know, you got to find somebody to talk to. Or if you know somebody that you that need a listening ear, listen to them. And listen to them and don't give them no um, answers. Just listen to them. Sometimes people just want somebody to talk to. You know what I mean? And, um... So it's sad, man, because his family is going to have to deal with this now. So Attica. But yeah, Google, I mean, Google him or, you know, type in his name on YouTube and you'll get an idea who he was. But my main point of this video is if you know somebody that's going through something, listen to them. You know, listen to them. If they have said time and time again, they're going to do something to themselves and they didn't. You never know when that day is going to come. You know, um, so it's best to just listen to them. You know, just listen to them. I'm telling you. So that's all I got to say about it, man. What say you? To next video, peace.